Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Kyle Dittman here with Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. And today we're gonna show you a brand new E-Pro from Flagstaff. Just came in 2024. We just brought on Flagstaff here at Bullion, so we're really excited to have them. Super excited to get you around this one and get this video started and show you what's going on with Flagstaff. So, um, like I said, the E-Pro single axle, lightweight, really great camper, quality build, a lot of great features on this little guy. So we'll get you started right up front. You got your fiberglass front cap here. You got your automotive uh, windshield, so just like on your car. So people are thinking with the windshield in front, what about rocks and stuff, but you gotta remember your tow vehicle is gonna be in front of it. Um, and like I said, automotive strength windshield up front. So gives you a lot of extra light coming in um, and just really like that opens up a smaller trailer like this. Rock guard down below. Uh, Flagstaff gives you a battery box for uh, two 24 deep cycle batteries. We're going to throw one 27 deep cycle marine gray battery. We throw that in the deal. If something you want to upgrade down the road, you're going to have to put two smaller batteries, but you got a bigger battery box for it. You know, and just think if you have one battery in there, it gives you a little space, maybe put a couple extra tools or something on the side and store those in that battery box for you. A couple wrenches to be able to get off um, all the bolts and stuff you have for the cords. Sometimes the smaller trailers only got one 20 pound, two 20 pound LP tanks on there with the LP tank cover. So uh, keeping this out of the elements, just think of your grill at home, the LP tank in all beat up and you know paint chipping and fading, starting to rust. The cover on top is gonna be extra protection for you. And then easy access to open it up and switch it over when one tank runs out. Power tongue jack on here right away, all set up there. You know, even something small, like let's see this power cord, you just hang it in the dirt, drag it in the mud. Little compartment to hold it right there. Spot for your chains so they're not hanging in the mud or anything like that. Really like that. Coming around the back side, the business side here, you got cables, satellite, your city water connections, all those hookups right there. Slam latch baggage doors on this unit. You have an outdoor shower, hot and cold shower, uh, with just a hose that'll hook up into there. All that's gonna be in here, here's that hose, kind of like your garden hose, soaker, jets, cone, sprinkler, everything just like at your home. And then you also have this foot that I'll drop down on the tongue jack. Um, they include in their bag, they give you a bunch of goodies. So they give you a spatula, with the special bottle opener on the one side. Super cool, Forest River logo. I think that's kind of neat that they're throwing you stuff like that. Um, a bag to put your power cord in because it's a detachable power cord. And then when we get around to the other side, you have a flat top grill and a little table that'll connect to the outside. So we'll show you that. They're sticking, everybody's going to the new tank list. They're sticking with the six gallon um, electric and propane hot water heater. So, um, we got that on the littler guy, but in the, one of these smaller campers, you know, getting in, getting a quick shower, getting out, you always just smell better coming out than you going in. Frameless windows on here too, makes it look really sleek. Keeping a lot of those seals on the inside, protected from the elements again. And you're gonna um, kind of break down on some of the black streaks. You're not gonna have as many of those coming off the, the seals either. One slide box on this unit where the table's gonna be, so we'll show you more of that when we get inside. Right down here is your one tank pull, so you got your black and gray tanks, all one spot for you, so all easy one hookup. Uh, this is for your bunkhouse. So you do have a little window, but they also give you a nice screen to block that off. Getting in here, I haven't seen this a whole lot, but getting you a ladder for the upper bunk, which is pretty neat and unique, something different that they're doing. We're gonna take this out and actually put it on the bottom. And then what's nice too, is if you guys have the small kids with these little bunks, or if you need extra gear, you can pop this up because on the smaller campers, you don't really have a big passenger storage. So this gives you a ton of extra storage space in here when you pop this up. And I said, they said little bikes or extra kids stuff, or even bigger bikes can kind of fit in there. Maybe if you take the wheel off of them. And a nice big baggage door to get into all that stuff. Coming around the backside, they're throwing you a ladder to the roof. So we really like that. I um, also want you to notice kind of the curvature of the roof. 
So when you get inside, you're gonna have a little more headspace. So we'll show you that, but it's kind of a little easier to see when you're on the outside here. Also above that, you can see the back end. There's a max air fan in the bathroom and they're hitting you with a max air fan vent cover right away. Love that with the E-Pro, just kind of those little add-ons that you're always adding on after the fact or after the purchase, the couple extra bucks, they're just giving it to you right away. Hitch receiver back here. So again, if you're bringing a Lego generator, extra coolers, bike rack, any of that stuff, you're gonna have a 300 pound capacity for a rack back here. Black tank flush to keep down on the smells and keep that tank nice and clean for you. On the camp side of the camper, Awning that's gonna run the whole length of the camper. So a smaller camper like this, you're looking at a you know 15 foot plus awning. Right here is where you're gonna hook that table and that grill I'll show you here. Nice little rack here for you. And then right down below, you do have an LP quick connect. So for that grill that you hook up, or let's say you put a table and you have a nicer Blackstone grill or a different grill that you like to bring with, and maybe move it a little further away from the camper, you can hook it up here and run it to those two 20 pound LP tanks right up front for you. Outdoor speakers. Solar on the side, so a nice little Zamp. Um, well, just not the Zamp, I don't think, but a portable solar panel, so you wanna bring those. Move the panel around with the sun. You can always you know, maximize the sun usage with the solar. This is gonna be that little table that hooks on the side, and then it comes with a nice flat stone, or the flat top grill. Great for breakfast, bacon, eggs, hash browns. You name it, cook it all at once. Really like that. Smaller camper, solid step stairs. So, you know, with having a bunch of kids or pets running up and down in and out of the camper all the time, having these solid steps that go all the way to the ground is gonna be really great for you guys and help keep down on the movement. I mean, you do have the four stabilizer jacks, one in each corner, but this just adds to the, to the benefits of that. Also keeping this on the lightweight end of things, so some of those smaller SUVs that might only have the 5,000 pound towing capacity, this is gonna hit in there because they use Asdell and they use it on both sides, on the outside wall and on the inside. We'll kind of have Charlie touch on this. So this would be a good spot to maybe pause, um, take a look at some of the differences that Flagstaff is doing with their superior construction and just some standard features that they're throwing on um, with their product from the get-go, which is great. So like I said, this might be a good time to pause, kind of read over all that stuff. Or give me a call. We're going to leave my number, my contact information at the end here. Um, so reach out to me. I'm happy to help you any way I can. Heading on in. Couple cool features right as you walk in. You're gonna have a stair light, so we'll pop that on. Kind of so a little night light at night. Notice the heat ducts are gonna be coming out of the walls and places that aren't in the floor or big, you know, traffic areas. So that's gonna be nice there for you. The Wii RV. Um, this is all Bluetooth connectable, so just download an app. You can run a lot of stuff from your phone. Coming in on the inside. Nice full bed up front. Nice little catch-all spot up here. So, you know, maybe some beverages at night, snacks, putting your phones up here. You do have the power of tower. So a couple plug-ins, USB, USB-C, and then you do have the wireless plug. Just if you get your phone compatible, just drop that on the top and be able to charge your phone and just lay that all there. All the windows are pull-down blackout shades. So we really like that. You got one up front too. And if you guys stop it here, it does have a magnet. So it doesn't hang because the, you know, the front cap is rounded. So the magnets will hold that up against the window so it doesn't hang over while you guys are sleeping at night and obstru ob obstructing that. Nice pull out drawer right under the bed. I mean, even little things like under the bed, they throw a bunch of carpet. So under the mattress and stuff like that, usually it's just wood or things like that, but a nice carpeted area down here for you. That's kind of neat. TV up front, they're giving you a decent TV, a smart TV. So you got Netflix, YouTube, Prime. If, any, if you have any of those, uh, you can be able to hook them up to the TV if you got uh, Wi-Fi in here. JBL, a little sound bar on the bottom. 
And then this TV does rotate so you can bring it out and then push it back in to the inside. Look at that. It's your favorite episode, it's Martha Stewart. Um, solid surface countertops. It's gonna be really nice. You don't have the pull down faucet, but you do have the high rise with the round over so you can still get dishes on there to clean. You do have the drying rack. These fold up and kind of store away really nice and easily. Stainless steel, basin sink, so making mac and cheese for the kids. Something happens, you throw the hot pot in there, you're not melting through the plastic sinks. So we like that. With being a smaller camper, you know, getting as much storage as you can is gonna be great. There's not a ton in here, but you got some up above that are all held by magnets. You'll notice they're also hidden hinges, so it makes it look really nice and clean. Kind of forgot the storage bins up above the bed with your little fishnet, bungee cable things over there. So kind of tuck some stuff up above that while you're traveling. Um, pull out drawers, spot for your silverware, spot for little sponges or things like that for the sink. Three burner cooktop. Uh, you got a light up above here. You got a fan as well. So you're making bacon, you're doing stuff like that. Eliminate all the smells, get all the smoke out of here so the fire alarm doesn't go off and wake everybody up. Little camper like this can sleep a crew. You could put one or two on the table here, a couple up front, and a couple bunk beds back here. So, you know, anywhere from four to six people in this camper, which would be really great. The booth is big, so you can actually fit four people at the booth. Enough space to bring another chair in right here. So having a nice game night in here in case it is raining on that unfortunate weekend that you go camping, you can bring the team in here and still have a great time. A lot of good windows. These guys are going to all open up around the table. So getting a lot of really natural airflow in here is going to be really nice for you. Under the table, under the booth dinette, pull out drawers, store your favorite games down there that you're going to play. Magic Chef appliances, so like I said, the three burner cooktop, a decent sized oven. It's going to fit more than just the pizza or the dinosaur chicken nuggets. You got your favorite craft beer bottle opener. That's right in here, thinking of you guys. It's a decent sized fridge freezer for this size of camper. Um, you know, not the biggest, but you know, like one of our favorite sales guys, Jim, used to say, you fit a couple boxes of dilly bars and your limited crappies in that freezer for sure. Enough food in here for a weekend to get you out moving. And then you do have a nice pantry to the side. And all these shelvings are removable. And there is a hanging up top. Um, so if you wanted to put some hanging clothes or something in here, you have the capabilities to do that as well. And then even down here, again, not the easiest to get at, but storage space nonetheless. I like this. You got your doors that close off. So this is getting you to that spot from the outside. But if you have a bunch of stuff stored in there, sometimes in other manufacturers that's opened up, so it's kind of right there. These doors close it off, just make it look really nice and clean. Privacy curtains for both bunks to close that off, not just one big curtain, so privacy curtains for both bunks. So um, you can close those off for you guys. You got push puck lighting, you got windows, and then um, power and USB in both of them as well. So for those devices. Move into the bathroom. Couple great features in here. We'll just pop into the tub. So you do have a little tub. So again, if you have little kids, you got a nice size tub in here. Um, be able to put them in here, get them clean. This does have the shower miser as well. So that device is right down here. Um, it's gonna recycle the water back into the fresh water tank um, as it gets warm. This pipe is gonna turn gray and then you can turn it on. So if you're doing any off-grid camping or anything like that to really utilize the space of your fresh water and your gray tanks so you're not wasting anything. Really like that. I mean, it's a smaller shower, it's a smaller camper. I'm only 5'8", 5'9", and I'm pretty capped out, but 
if I came in here to get clean, I'm definitely getting out of here cleaner than I came in. And that's the whole point of the camper shower. Hopefully the campground might have, you know, showers at it that you could use. If not, like I said, you'll, it'll, it'll work for you. Max air fan in the bathroom, which is super great. Um, that'll move a lot of air. So even if you turn that on, and open some windows out here, that'll recycle the air through the whole camper too. Smaller sink in here, but you do have a sink, a spot to brush your teeth. So you're not having to use the sink out in the main area to do that. Folds away, kits out of the way. So really again, maximizes the space. You're not dedicating a whole corner or something to a sink. I mean, the bathroom has got everything you need, but nothing too big. So you're not sitting here on your phone for 30 minutes. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Again, in a smaller camper, having a porcelain toilet is a really nice feature. And like we were talking about those routed ceilings, you can kind of see it in here, which helps with the height in the bathroom, which helps with the height in the camper, especially for you taller folks. You know, when you're coming along with these AC units, having that little extra couple inches in this AC unit is really gonna make or break it for you some guys. Um, so we like that. I think, I mean, this is a smaller camper, so I think that's kind of about it. Again, my name is Kyle Dittman. I'm here with Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. If you like this video, if it's really helped you out, it really helps us out if you like, subscribe. Again, do all the things that YouTube says to do. We really appreciate that. It's a free way to help us help you guys, you know, get more videos out to you guys, get our name out there. We do these videos for you, so we really appreciate you watching. Thanks again. Uh, if you like this video, reach out to me. I can help you any way I can. 218-740-4964. We'll see you on the next one.